Hills Hut. We're not sure. We'll see if there's been any trees down. It's been quite stormy in the last week or so. But at the moment, we're just heading up Mount Margaret Road and uh, we'll go check it out, see what's up there. It's pretty good conditions at the moment, so we'll um, hopefully we don't come across any trees. We've got recovery gear and the chains are in that with the view as well, but we'll uh, head up there and check it out. Righto, so we are up over a thousand metres now, I think about 1100 metres up on Mount Margaret Road. When you get to here, you'll get to an intersection. Lady Talbot Drive and Blue Range Road. Head down Lady Talbot Drive and then you will continue on. You will eventually see Keppel's track. I think it's signposted a bit further up. I haven't been up here for a few years, um, even though it's not too far to come here and check it out. But yeah, haven't been here for a while, so we're looking forward to seeing what the track conditions are like and uh, we'll keep heading on. Right, the next stop we're at, we just followed Boundary Road. So when you're on Lady Talbot Drive, you'll see an intersection, Lady Talbot drops down into Marysville. So we'll probably try and look at heading back that way, providing there's no trees down along it because it's notorious for trees. There's a sign here that says Keppel's Hut. The FJ over behind my shoulder there is facing towards Keppel Hut. So we'll just keep on going. Here we are, we've made it to Keppel's Hut. Pretty straightforward drive. The tracks had a, um, a fair bit of work done to it, so it's not too bad. You'd even, at the moment, if you were keen and didn't mind, you'd probably get up here in your Subaru Outbacks and SUVs with a little bit of ground clearance, but if it's a bit wet, it's a different uh, story. You can even tell around the hut here, it's quite wet. So you've got to park at the car park there and walk in. Enough of me talking, I'll swing this camera around, give you a good look at this hut. Alright, so we're in the hut. There's a few chairs and things here. There's a bit of food and soup left up on top of the uh, fireplace. So, you know, if you're desperate need of anything, you've got some of that stuff here is the refuge hut. But yeah, these huts are used, like I said, for a refuge, not just for all your accommodation. There's even a headlamp hanging up just here. I'm not sure whether it works or not, but if you need to get out of the elements or you're quite desperate, this hut's rating very well with all the uh, little needs that you make. The place was well and truly burnt out through here in the 09 fires. Um, so I have been back here a few times. What I'll do, I'll actually pop a link up to the side here. Of, um, I've done a solo trip up here once before and I've also done another trip with a good group of mates. So there's a couple of trips up here. If you go through my channel there, you'll find some stuff with Keppel's hut in it. I'll just take you down the side here and um, Give you a look at the uh, creek as well. If you stand still long enough, we'll be quiet for a second. You can hear the water, but you'll also hear those march flies. We've got a real attraction to um, my boots and Chloe's shoes, actually. Don't know if that's a good thing or not, but they're everywhere. Right, so a little bit of history on Keppel's Hut. So there's an awesome information sign here. And you've also got a map of where we are on here as well in relation to Mar uh, Marysville and across to Buxton. So it says here that the hut was originally built 
The original hut was built in this area just after the 1939 bushfires and that lasted up until 1983 when it was accidentally burnt down. And then the hut was rebuilt once again. I mentioned earlier about the 09 fires. So the 09 fires came through here. So it was rebuilt after that as well. And up over the other side of the, well, I'm looking at it, there's a toilet block up over the other side of the um, hut there as well. So if you need to use amenities, you've got those up there. But the, this area was used for lease. They leased the area for running sheep and things across here. And through the winter time, snow can sit up here for around 18 weeks of the year, according to this. So this area is seasonally closed off. We did pass through a couple of gates coming up. You can get up Mount Margaret quite a fair way and then you'll reach a gate there. And yes, it does get quite a bit of snow up there through the cooler months. And in summertime, according to this sign here, it says it very rarely gets above 30 degrees in this area. Well, seldom gets above 30 degrees in this area. So. There's a lot of history all through here and down through to um, Marysville. So if you're you know, sort of local to even to Melbourne and you're looking for a nice day drive, you can definitely turn this into a circuit and do a bit of a loop around here and check out cool spots just like this hut here behind us. All right, so the first time Chloe would have been up to here, I reckon she was probably about three or four years old back in her previous life when I used to write for four drive and camping magazines we towed a camper trailer up to here now you can't actually camp or sorry you can camp but you can't get your vehicle close to the hut but yeah it's been a few years since Chloe's been up here and uh it's really awesome to bring her back up to uh check out these spots another awesome feature at Keppel's hut is this spectacular beautiful awesome anything there's I don't know how you want to describe it, but it's got this fireplace, chimney, just sitting there, the nice stonework there. Not sure whether that be original or not, but these rocks and that, I'm guessing, are from this local area here. They would have sourced it out. It's quite a rocky area. So, yeah, we'll um, check that out when you're here as well. Chloe's retreated back to the car. The marked flies aren't friendly. I don't blame her, really. They're pretty savage. You can see them on my boot. As you're driving up here as well, you'll see um, a few trail marker signs. So I stopped and checked one out. I think they were yellow, orange. They're uh, the seven peaks. So whether it's part of a trail running area or bush walking, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I have been here in the past and I've seen bushwalkers come across from Lake Mountain. Um, I couldn't even tell the distance. So it's not often I'm in the um, passenger seat. Got Chloe sitting there in low range at the moment, just in low second, just cra crawling down this hill. It's fine in high range, but um, Chloe's just learning to pick a few lines, avoiding sharp rocks and to look ahead, etc. But um, yeah, it feels quite odd in the passenger seat. I don't do it too often, do I, Chloe? Not really. So we're, um, yeah, just making our way back down towards Lady Talbot Drive. All right, so we've got a bit of a trickier section. Chloe's picked her line beautifully here.
a bit in the in the wetter months you can see how it um washes through and punches down here and the edges drop away but yeah it's nothing too tricky but um she's doing a fantastic job all right i mentioned earlier i mentioned earlier about uh seasonal track closures we're right at the gate now so chloe's just got the car sitting at the gate and here's the sign right here so uh yeah just make sure you pay attention to those the big steel gates blocked off so uh when they're locked they're locked they can be closed at any time doesn't have to be seasonally closed either it can be for track works or there's big trees down or anything like that but when they're closed there's a reason Righto, so we're going to wrap up our afternoon drive here. It's got a short drive back home and we're right now on the banks of the Taggarty River. So we've driven down from Keppel's Hut. We made it all the way through Lady Talbot Drive. There have been a few trees cleared on the way through that look like they come down fairly recent. But um, yeah, all got through there, no worries. So how did you enjoy your drive, Chloe? Good, I enjoyed it. Yeah, good fun. Awesome. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time. Cheers.